So at Royal Trinity Hospice Shop, we focus our offer exclusively on fashion. So we sell menswear, womenswear and accessories. Everything that we sell has been donated either uh, from a customer over the counter or from a corporate partner. We know through the market research that we've done over the last couple of years that the number one reason that our customers cross the threshold of our shops is that they want to buy pre-loved, sustainable fashion. We know that we can offer that front of house and that's what our product offer is. That being said, we know that there is still an awful lot that we can do back of house and we want to make sure that our customers recognise that we're committed to not only selling pre-loved fashion but actually having a sustainable operation to support that. And then we have just launched our Sustainable 7 programme. 5% of global greenhouse emissions are caused by the fashion and textile industry and a huge amount of water is used in the production of fashion. Now we only sell pre-loved fashion so we feel like we are supporting the environment in our product offer. That being said we know there are operational changes that we can make in our back of house processes to improve our sustainability credentials. So we've identified seven different areas that we believe are the most important areas for us to focus on and within those seven areas we've got 24 action points. So a couple of examples are first of all uh, plastic. We still use an awful lot of plastic bags to transport stock from one shop to another and we are committed to reducing that significantly and replacing that with either a non-single-use plastic bag or a more sustainable alternative. Another example is the lighting in our shops. We've got all different types of lighting in our shops and we want to move and we've started the journey of moving all of our shops to LED lighting. And I guess one big one for us is around transport. At the moment we have diesel vans that drive around London moving the stock from shop to shop. We are committed to eliminating those diesel vans and actually replacing them with electric vans. We are really committed to our Sustainable 7 programme. We've launched it in the spring of this year and we've now published it on our website and we've taken the decision to have a very transparent uh, approach to, to our plan. We've committed to updating it regularly so there will be updates at least twice a year because we want to hold ourselves to account and we also want the industry to see what we're doing to support the Sustainability programme.